Yes, sir. Oh, you okay. two slices. Oh, two wow. slices. Yes. Enjoy. Wow. Look at these crazy pizzas. That looks sort of like they're not nearly as bad as the districts here in Maryland, but uh, they're certainly not not the way uh, you know most people would pick their pizza. No. Can you open them up so everybody can see them, maybe? There you go. Wow. This one is like a fish. More ties. Yeah. It looks really good, though. It, they look the shapes are bad, but the pizza looks pretty good. Yeah, you'd want some more crust, though, wouldn't you? Probably. Yeah. It's very. It's actually really hard to eat. You can't pick it up. <laughs> you know. So I'm not sure how you go about that, but or how you thank you. Think. Yes, you're yeah, welcome. It's kind of like well, how they come up with these districts. Ellie, do you want to just go ahead and yeah. tell the press what you guys are up to? And Sure, we can use the backdrop here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so I'm with Represent Us. We're an organization that's uh, national in focus. Uh, <laughs> we work with folks across the political spectrum, and we're so grateful to Governor Hogan and also to uh, Fair Maps Maryland board member Jim Branchen. Branchen. Branchen, sorry. Um, for joining us today, uh, we are taking the truck, Jerry's Partisan Pizza, to uh, states both red and blue to have a conversation about how uh, gerrymandering is occurring. It's a once a decade problem, but it's a very important problem that we want to draw attention to. The pizza is free, uh, but our elections aren't always. Um, and so uh, we, we have a statement of uh, you, uh, pizza place shouldn't be able to pick their customers and uh, politicians should not be able to pick their voters. Um, and so just very grateful to uh, Governor Hogan for your work on this issue and for Fair Maps Maryland on this issue. Um, if you are interested in checking out our partisan uh, gerrymandering Threat Index. This is a project we're doing with Princeton University that is also available online. Maryland has one of the most extreme cases of partisan gerrymandering, according to that index. Um, and nine out of ten Americans oppose partisan gerrymandering. This is not a red or blue issue. So thank you so much. Very good. Well, thank Enjoy you so much. Uh, Senator, would you like to say a few words sure. on behalf of Fair Maps Maryland? Sure. Thank you, Governor. Um, first of all, I want to thank the Governor and thank Represent Us. Uh, this isn't something that uh, that I came about overnight. The governor asked me seven years ago when I went to the Senate, when I was in the Senate, and he became governor to stand with him and to put in legislation to stop gerrymandering. Uh, to make it a little more concrete uh, and on the legislative side, when I ran for office in 2002, I lived in Towson. My district went all the way to Bel Air and Harper County. I mean, that, that's how gerrymandered it was. In 2014, after the second redistricting, my district started in Towson and ended in Pennsylvania. So this is congressional, this is legislative, and all these politicians who I served with all the years of the Senate, they all said the same thing when they left the Senate or the House. They said, God, I knew it was wrong, but I did it anyway because I was told to do it by leadership, or I knew I'd lose my leadership post, or I knew I wouldn't get uh, money to help me in my next election. So as Represent Us said, uh, it doesn't work, it's wrong. It gives you polar opposites in the legislative bodies uh, and congressional bodies. and. Uh, I appreciate the governor represent us. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate Fair Maps and represent us, and um, I am going to look forward to trying that pizza, even though they're very funny shapes. Uh, uh, but uh, it's great to be here. I know it's a terrible day, but thank you all for coming out in the wind and the rain. Uh, this is such an important issue. It's something we've been fighting for. I've been, I've actually been passionate about this for several decades, but I've been trying to fight for it since I became governor seven years ago. Uh, we, we are one of the most gerrymandered states in the entire country. Um, interesting fact, I didn't even know until a couple of days ago that we've been doing a census since 1790 and never once uh, has a Republican governor overseen the redistricting process in Maryland. <laughs> it's the first time. Um, and so whenever, it doesn't matter, both parties are guilty of this. Whoever has the power tends to use it to their advantage, but it's just wrong. Uh, the politicians should not be picking their voters. The voters should be deciding who represents them. Um, I, we appointed a nonpartisan uh, independent citizen uh, commission to put together fair maps. I think they've done an incredible job. Same time, we have legislators hiding in the state house over here with some secret maps that we haven't seen, nobody has seen, no, one, no one's ever been able to comment on. It's just not the way to do things behind closed doors and smoke-filled rooms. And uh, we're going to keep pushing to make sure that we can get uh, fair maps for the people in Maryland. And that's what we're here for. 